Hey, y'all. <clears throat> What's up? It's your girl, Jazzy Sheboff. I just want to come to you real quick because I was thinking about this. This was on my mind. Don't judge me. I know I got uh, all this stuff on my face. This is my mask. But anyway, you know I'm taking care of these beauty <clears throat> needs. Um, So check this out. I just wanted to come real quick. This is just something that I wanted to say um, about, you know, how important it is to really make sure that you're listening um, and taking in good, helpful knowledge that can pertain to you. Um, you know, it's just a lot of things going on in society and the world. Um, a lot of our people are not aware of. And um, it really just kind of makes me sad to know that a lot of us are walking around here in a haze and not even realize um, what's going on. And because I guess it doesn't necessarily affect us in the everyday life right now. Uh, we always tend to assume that, you know, things won't happen that will change that situation. Um, a lot of times we become more proactive with being aware and up to date on what's actually going on behind the scenes, um, especially when it comes to like governments and politics, because that's a lot of things. Um, I think that's a subject that a lot of people just really find it difficult to get into and really um, find it difficult to understand and relate to. Um, and it's... You know, that's understandable because it's not all, you know, fun and, you know, interesting all the time. Um, it's not entertaining all the time. But, of course, you know, with the with the current uh, president that we have, it's definitely more entertaining now. <laughs> and I think it's ever been in my, the whole time I've been alive. This is the first time I've ever seen uh, the country in such a state of emergency um, due to the president's neglect and, you know, personal views and beliefs and business tacti tactics. Um, because I do not believe that our president is, you know, um, running the country from a state of passion and compassion for us, you know, and I believe that he just feels like he is handling business and running another business um, of his. And so, you know, he plays more um, like chess moves, I think. And we don't necessarily understand his moves because we're not in his head. I know people think he's not very smart. Um but he's a smart businessman. He, he, common sense, maybe not so, you know. So it's different. Um, being a businesswoman, I have to take into account of some of the things that I think that he does. I think it's just, you know, his movements and tactics are misunderstood. And for a lot of people that's not on the business uh, side of things and not really, you know, used to handling that type of business, they don't necessarily understand that. So, um, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Okay, just get like four packs of the, the, um, the pink and blue. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, um, you know... It's really, the thing is, you know, what Donald Trump is doing is trying to increase his pockets. You know, he's trying to, he's trying to build his bank and he's not really concerned about the rest of us. Um, and so that, that leads me to my point, which is if he's not concerned about us, then who is going to be? And if we're not concerned about us, then who is going to be? All right. I don't want to sit around waiting for somebody else to decide that they're going to be concerned about my financial stability and my future, you know, existence and survival um, based on the things that are being done today. You know what I'm saying? And, and so it's like if we don't really pay attention, become aware and be knowledgeable about what's going on now and how it can affect us in it, just in two, the next two to three years, then, you know, we won't know. But check the mood. You know, it's funny that a lot of people, I, I think one of the things that, the, this is just about starting a business, but a lot of people are scared to start a business because they feel like, you know, they're scared they're going to have to pay taxes, they're going to owe all this money, they're going to do this and that. And I, I just, um, you know, I recently came across some, some interesting information, but it's just a different perspective from um, somebody who, you know, is, is doing business. And this is from a, a, a tax advisor um, about how this works. So... Basically, um, if you're an employee or you're even a specialist, which is like we'll just say somebody who's been to college uh, for four to eight years and specializing in a specific industry has maybe a degree or certification um, or, you know, something like that, bachelor's or whatever. Um, and 
they are working in that field. The employees in these, these the United States pay <clears throat> pay forty percent of their taxes. Um, when it's tax time, they 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 owe up to forty percent. That's pretty much the standard average. Okay, so the specialists they pay sixty percent. So what has happened is, you know, we are structured and we're trained and taught that we need to go to college, um, for about four years at least. You know what I'm saying, and get that education, um. And, you know, we're not thinking about how much the education costs, but then when we go get the education and then we get a job because we, for one, don't go get a job in that field or industry because we weren't able to or we feel like we really don't still have what it takes, even though we went through all those years of college and school and still owe all that money. A lot of people don't take advantage of the degrees and stuff that they have already spent money and time to get. They're doing something totally different than what they went to school for. Okay, so, but you still owe the money, all right? Okay, so boom. The next thing is now you owe that money and you making, you working at a job that you don't even make enough money to really pay that debt off. So now you'll be in debt forever, okay? And you're paying 40% of the taxes in addition to what you already owe that you're getting paid to work for, all right? So boom. You say, okay, that's not good enough. I'm going to go ahead and go back to school for another four years or so so I can get a higher um degree and i can start making more money in a better job better position i'm gonna get me a specialty degree okay boom so now you've occurred another four to you know let's just say six to eight years or whatever depending on what kind of um degree that you're going for um now you've occurred four to eight more years of schooling um in debt um that you will have to pay back when you get that job but now when you get that job you're gonna owe 60 percent of your taxes that you're making from the job so you owe more than the dang on employee does and you owe more for your schooling all right so what happens is when you decide to jump over to the other side of the realm which is the business side and investor side as a business owner you only required to pay 20 percent of your taxes so the business owners are already paying less taxes on whatever they get in then the dang on employee. So automatically, you automatically at the top just get automatic tax break, tax breaks, more tax break, more tax cuts, just because you're a business. But most people are scared that they're gonna owe so many taxes for the business. But you actually owe more taxes as an employee or as a specialist. You feel me? And when I say specialist, working in a gear industry that 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 is not your business. Now, if you decide to become a specialist, and then you want to start your own business as that specialty now you owe 20 percent instead of 60 okay and that's just starting off that's not including all the write-offs perks you know donations and things that you may do to you know help things along okay so what happens is when you decide to become an investor into the economy um, as a business person, and usually, you know, you're getting those funds from having your business. Hopefully, your business is successful, does well, has longevity, and is, you know, really developing and, and getting um, residual income. Then, you know, of course, you want to continue to make your money grow. So, you start investing in things. You know what I'm saying? Once you start investing, you like, you get to the Jay Z status where your, your accountant should be so good that you don't even pay taxes because you don't owe any, because they know what they're doing and they know how to balance the books. You know what I'm saying? It's 0% on the investor's taxes. That's why the rich are getting richer. That's why the poor are getting poor. Okay? So that's just one thing I want to let y'all know, man. Don't be scared to jump out there and try something different, especially if you're finding yourself in a hole. You know, a lot of us are digging ourselves deeper in a hole that we think we're trying to keep ourselves from going in because we don't realize the benefits and the, the, the awards and all of the things that we could really actually do. If we just go to the other side, we don't we we don't know what we're missing out on because we ain't never been there. All right. But don't think that the rich are getting richer than something that you can't do. It's just that you don't know how they're doing it. You feel me? So you can't do it if you don't know how you need to learn. The information is out there and it's free to you. And if you got some money already stashed, invest in finding out or having somebody to do it for you and get you lined up. OK, so if you want to know more about this, you can contact me. This is your girl, Jazzy Sheboss. All right. I am the CEO and founder of SheBoss 21 Management and Consulting Services. I do different type of consultants for um, small businesses, entre- entrepreneurships, people looking to start their businesses or already start up. Maybe you have a small business. You want to know how to grow your t- clientele. You want to know about um, acquiring different type of contracts and 
procuring different things of that nature. Um, you know, you might just don't even know how to structure the entity with even getting your business registered. So those are some of the things that I can help you with. Um, my business is legit. You can Google me. You can check BBB. All right. I am certified. I'm registered with Secretary of State. Okay. I have my business license. I've been to school for business marketing and management and, con and consulting. I'm a certified motivational speaker. All right. And these are just some of the credentials that I have. The list goes on and on, but I'm not here to toot my own horn. I'm just letting you know that, you know, I do have the background and the experience and degrees to back up what i'm saying so um and that's really all it you know it, it, it comes down to a lot of people think that you know we we put so much on people with degrees and things because you know we automatically feel like they are superior they're above they're more knowledgeable and that is that may be true in the aspect of they have the sense, you know, and they have the know-how about whatever it is that they have decided to become knowledgeable about. But it doesn't mean that you can't be the same and that you don't have the ability to do it. You just need to believe that you can, know you can, and then go ahead and uh, do it. You know what I'm saying? Just stop waiting. <laughs> stop making excuses. Stop staying comfortable. Stop being scared. Stop letting the doubt and the fear take over your common sense and you know that you need to be doing this or you should be doing this or this is something that you want to do. You feel like it'll fulfill you and really make you happy, okay? Because of whatever you're doing, if it's not, then why in the world would you continue to keep doing that? Don't you want to be happy? All right? Let's be happy in 2020 and beyond, all right? Affinity into beyond, like Buzz Lightyear. Let's get it popping, all right, y'all? Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, y'all, enjoy y'all day, man. Happy Boss Take Day to you. Happy Monday. Get up, get out, and get something. Do something different today, man. The word of the day is motivate, all right? Go out and motivate someone else. Encourage someone else. It'll make you feel good, and it'll start making you get a little motivated as well. You'll be surprised how helping others and sharing just useful, helpful, positive energy and information will boost the quality of someone else's life, and in turn, you will be greatly rewarded internally and externally all right because what you put out there is what you get back all right so if you're getting a lot of negativity a lot of bad luck a lot of things like that if it, it, it may be something that you need to look inside of you and check to see what it is that you're actually putting out there something's not feeling right you're not balanced you're in a bad mood you're in a bad space check yourself out you know what i'm saying get in touch with you Figure out what it is and if they, then figure out how to get it right so that you can get things back on track, all right? Because things are going to pick up for you. This is not the end. This is just a temporary situation, a minor setback for a major comeback, okay? And sometimes the comeback is better than the breakout, all right? Sometimes the second time around is better than the first because you know stuff now. You can learn from your mistakes. You can do it better, all right? But don't let the one or two no's or the obstacles that you inquired previously when you try to do something because it didn't work out and you feel like a failure. Don't let that stop you for the rest of your life, all right? Change that attitude. Change that perspective. Realize that that was just something you were supposed to learn from. It wasn't supposed to stop you. You were supposed to keep going, all right? But if you didn't know, now you know. And now you don't have a reason to not do it because I just told you, all right? And if you don't like it, hey, Block me or come check me, <laughs> one or the other. But get with the program, man. Shit. It's time to get up, get out, and get something. Hey, y'all, I speak nothing but infinite blessings and abundance to your life, all right? Have a, have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Have a blessed day, for real. That's from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all for y'all love and support. Follow me. Go on over to the website, www.sheboss.com. Excuse me, I'm sorry, sheboss21inc.com. Or go and check me out on youtube and on um spotify check my podcast out at she boss talks that's s-h-i-i-b-o-s-s-t-a-l-k-z that's talks with a z follow me on the podcast subscribe to my youtube channel right i love y'all i need y'all thank y'all talk to y'all soon peace